Superintendent Denise Juno. Seattle Public Schools continues to work in partnership with Public Health Seattle and King County as the lead agency for coronavirus disease or COVID-19. Please know that I'm in daily contact with public health, city, county, and state officials as we work to, together to respond to this unprecedented health situation. As the largest district in our state, Seattle Public Schools plays a critical community role in providing stability and safety for our region. I will continue to be in contact with these leaders as we make decisions that impact all of us. At this time, public health does not recommend proactively closing schools. Beyond providing education for our students, public schools are the access point for social services for thousands of young people, and we help ensure those working on the front lines of the COVID-19 response can continue to do so. I recognize how challenging this situation is for our families, students, and staff, and take this situation seriously. We are taking preventative measures in response to new information from public health. Staff who are at higher risk of contracting COVID-19 may need to stay home, and we have provided guidance on taking leave. Families know what's best for their children, and we will honor your decision to keep your child home from school during this time. Absences will be excused. Please contact your child's school if you will be keeping them home. Per our usual approach, we have asked teachers to provide activities and lessons in the event of prolonged absence. This does not take the place of in-class instruction, but provides continued learning for our students. As of today, March 9th, in response to public health recommendations to limit social contact events that bring large groups of students, adults, and community members together have been canceled. Childcare and extended day learning programs are still running to support working parents and our students. We will provide more updates regarding athletics very soon. Within our buildings, custodial staff are cleaning common and high traffic areas multiple times a day, and we are providing resources, supplies, and time for students to wash their hands regularly. Please help us by keeping sick children home. Public Health is recommending anyone that has symptoms of any illness stay home a minimum of 72 hours without fever. If students exhibit illness or COVID-19 related symptoms, we will contact a parent or guardian to come pick them up immediately. I am thankful to the many health professionals that are making testing more widely available. Data will help public health better understand and respond to COVID-19 and their guidance to school districts. In the event of a school or district closure, we have strong emergency procedures in place, including providing lunches to students who qualify for free or reduced lunch. You can learn more about our COVID-19 response on our website. With these efforts, our goal is to keep our doors open as long as possible while prioritizing the health and safety of our students. Thank you for working with us through this evolving situation that impacts all facets of life and our entire community. The district will continue to communicate daily. <laughs>